Today looks like it could be quite an exciting party. Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we've got a whole bunch of stuff to go through um, as for like new patch notes, new um, information on stuff that's being fixed and also a brand new map announcement release tonight. I cannot wait for this guys. It's either going to be one or two of our favorite maps and I'm hoping it's going to be both um, because obviously one will most likely be worked on by third party studio but we're going to be finding out the information in today's community crunch. Now if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here and let's dive in to the world of art. So first of all, we're going to be talking about this. So AMD crash update, yay. The beta driver from AMD, which is this link, has been confirmed to fix the loading into aberration crash. AMD have advised that the official release will be very soon, but you can download it early from this link that Dolly posted. And thank you for your, for this patience, uh, the, your patience on this issue. So if we head over to this, this is the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 24.20.11.01 release notes. So they've added new game support, which is Frostpunk 2, God of War, Ragnarok, and the Sims 4 Direct 11, uh, Direct X 11 update. They've expanded AMD Radeon Boost support for Final Fantasy, and they've expanded HYPR Tune support. Um, uh, which support allows um, HYPRX to en uh, enable in-game technologies like AMD. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is like um, a lot of the stuff that's going to like sort of really support Arc. With you know, they we recently had the frame interpolation added into the game um, and and stuff like that, which was cool. Support has been added automatically to configure AMD um, Resolution Three with frame generation to compare the difference between anti-lag two on and anti-lag off um so i guess this has been support for black myth wukong creatures of ava god of war ragnarok support has been added automatically to configure amd um radeon anti-lag 2 in ghost of tashima director's cut um so they also fixed issues and improvements for a uh, crash for warhammer um uh, space marine 2 um and lots of other stuff and i don't think they actually mention um arc here i thought they would have because dolly posted a link because they did mention daisy they said intermittent performance when entering certain areas while playing daisy um but there's nothing actually on arc here but i mean either either way as you can see here it says the amd software adrenaline edition for windows 10 and windows 11 installation package can be downloaded from the following link so if you're someone that once this update as soon as possible you can download it right now from this link you don't have to wait if you're someone who rather just wait you can do that because as you can see amd have confirmed that the official release will be very soon but you know who wants to wait <laughs> um dolly said hey folks we'll be rolling back to previous server version version 52.27 in order to temporarily mitigate this ping issue on aberration servers whilst we work on a thorough fix the patch is rolling back, not to your servers, to be clear. Apologies for the inconvenience and thanks for flagging it to us so quickly. That's what's going on there. Um, as you can see, Savala posted an update, which I think this is the new one, which they've just rolled back. Yeah, because this is they've rolled back to version 52.27, but they had done an update last night, which fixed the crash and fixed an issue causing decreased performance on aberration servers. But this was version 52.28. So if you have seen these patch notes, then this has now is now not implemented into the game until they fix something else um, from what we, we read here. So hopefully this will get sorted and we'll get this new update soon because who doesn't want an issue which stops um, decreased performance on aberration? That's what we need. Um, also, Someone now this comment I've had on my video since aberration launch. Are you looking into the Reaper pregnancy timers being bugged? Now this has been an issue for ages, um, and I, I literally, you know, it's one of the most coolest additions of aberration when this, this when this got added in the Reaper pregnancy, and it's not working properly at the moment. But Dolly said it's being worked on. Bit of a tricky fix to nail, to be honest, but we'll get there. 
Now, this will most likely be part of the major content, um, not major content, but major content fix update, which is coming next week. It was meant to be coming this week, but it has been delayed. If you have saw my video yesterday, Wildcard have said they had to focus on fixing a bunch of other stuff. So they've had to delay the major update, but it will come next week. So just keep an eye out on for that. Now, for the information you've all been waiting for, it's just in time. I really like that name, by the way. Said in the Discord saying, at Dolly, on a non-server slash ping related topic, but kinda, um, <laughs> would you say Ragnarok or Extinction would be the next map? Now, this has been one of the biggest questions in the art community. And I would, I wish I've done a poll before I started recording this video because it would be really interesting to see how, what map people want to come first, Ragnarok or Extinction. But what I'm going to ask you guys in the comment section down below, if you can let me know what map you want to see next in the comment section, then when I read through them, I can kind of see what the community is saying about it. Um, I, do you know what? It's a really hard one for me. I love Rag. It was actually one of my favorite maps on Survival Evolved. So I would love to see, I mean, Aberration was my fa all-time favorite. Ragnarok was probably second. And, uh, but the, then obviously Extinction's really cool. But I just don't know what's going on because you guys would have seen that the um, Extinction um, Wasteland War is coming Q1 2025. So is there a chance that they may delay Extinction for the launch of Ragnarok? But then the different, the other thing on from this is, the modded maps, the community maps, have been being worked on by third-party studios. So we are, don't know right now whether we're going to be getting Ragnarok and Extinction all in one year, or whether we're going to be getting one or the other. Now, Dolly has responded to this with, keep your eyeballs on this week's crunch. So, yes, there it is, announced from Dolly on the official Discord. I saw Nakata's post um uh on twitter today as well saying um look what's uh looks like we're going to get a map announcement tonight and yeah um i don't know what it's going to be i uh, it would be really nice if we got um news on both of them because to be honest they kind of overlap a bit um because ragnarok was actually meant to be out this month of september to uh, according to the old roadmap we got um uh, at extra life last year and extinction was meant to come in october so these are kind of the two, um, Valguero is meant to come in December. There's no chance that's going to be happening. So I would keep your eyes on both of these maps. And I think it would, per I would I think it would be the perfect end to 2024 if we managed to get both of these maps, um, you know, by the end of the year. How cool would it be to get like, you know, I feel like Extinction would fit the Halloween vibe more in October, but then Ragnarok, it would be cool to see the, the return of the Dodo Rex on Ragnarok. Um, that would be amazing. But there's your official confirmation, guys, that tonight's crunch is going to have a map announcement. I can't wait for it now, guys. I will be um, obviously preparing a video. Hopefully the crunch doesn't come at like 4 a.m. Hopefully it comes a little bit earlier because I'll be staying up waiting for it to bring you guys the news. And it'll be interesting to see. Also on release dates, like we were, what we were talking about earlier... It's either going to be one of those things where wildcard say, right, Extinction's coming next and you're not getting it till like December. You know, that, that, that's always a massive thing that can happen with Studio Wildcard. Like there can be huge delays or the best case scenario is that they're going to tell us that both of the maps are coming this year because one's being worked on by a third party studio. And I think it would work better to do Ragnarok next and then do Extinction for the end of the year. I think that would be perfect, but it's down to Studio Wildcards. It's down to what the team uh, is, is going to be doing, and we're going to be finding out this news later today. Anyway, guys, much love. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're as excited as I am for this new announcement. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video very soon. See you guys then.